Hi, how's it going? It's Charles Botenston. I just reviewed Mind Power, which is by John Kehoe, and Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, which is by T. Harv Ecker. And I cannot say enough about these two, so look at those videos. Uh, currently, we're in my, my home in New York City, and today we're going to be going over uh, John Kehoe's newest book, which is called Quantum Warrior. It's an absolute phenomenal read when it comes on the piggyback of Mind Power. So Mind Power was, just to give you a little brief overview, Mind Power was, I have a little 10% battery left on my iPad, which I'm filming it on. It's funny, it just came up. And we're still filming good. So Mind Power was about changing your mind for success, for health, for wealth, for happiness, whatever you want to change. Quantum Warrior is totally different. Quantum Warrior is, this is his newest book. It just came out, I think, in 2014, or actually 2011. Uh, it was first published. And he goes over, essentially, mind power, but on a higher scale. And it's really in-depth. And the thing was, I read Quantum Warrior first, which was a mistake. You have to read mind power first. So... Just to go back on the series of events, I first uh, found John Kehoe on YouTube. I don't own a TV. It's been four years since I've owned a TV. Highly recommend doing that. So I found him on YouTube. I started, re like, literally saw dozens and dozens, probably 40, 50 hours of video of John Kehoe. And I'm like, this guy is unbelievable. And by the way, YouTube is free. I don't know why people don't take advantage of that more. But... I was like, wow, he came out with a new book. And the way that I've, you know, you can see some of the books behind me. Um, there's more at work. So, and obviously I have a Kindle. But what I've noticed is that with authors is that their best work and the, the best way to, to look at it is, where is it? Uh, here, Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek wrote, uh, start with why. And, or I think it is, why start with why or start with why. But this book is absolutely incredible, and it's Leaders Eat Last. Simon Sinek, if you haven't seen his, um, his TED Talk, I think he's, he has three ones, TED and TEDx. They're stupidly amazing. They're scarily amazing. And just watch his other talks. He is one of the, top, one of the best just commanding presence uh, on that I've ever seen on a stage. He's, he's truly amazing. And he lives here in New York City. Yes. But, so what I noticed is that I always want to start with their best books first, which is usually their most recent books. And Quantum Warrior is actually the opposite. So Quantum Warrior is his best, or not to say his best book, but his most in-depth book. But the thing was, I didn't have the knowledge or the blueprint or the foundation of mind power, which is you could change your mind or you could change your thoughts based on your mind. So in other words, you can actually change and reprogram your thoughts. And if you're watching this for the first time, you have no idea what, I, what I'm talking about. It's because I was in the same position. I was like, that's no way you can do that. There's no way that you can change how you think, but it's true. You can. And it took me, or it has taken me, you know, probably a month of completely studying this every single day at when I'm at the gym, after work, before work, and really getting my mind around it, no pun intended. So if you want to read Quantum Warrior, read Mind Power first. So Mind Power is incredible. Quantum Warrior is the future of the mind. Actually, it's funny. It's, it says it right there, the future of the mind. And he is going into something that is so, it sounds so outrageous now, but that's like saying the world is round when everyone thought it was flat. When everything revolves around us, when in fact we all revolve around the sun. So wrapping our minds around this new reality of what our minds are capable, you know, there's percentages that people throw out as how much we use of our mind instead of what we don't use, you know, some people say we only use 8% of our mind, 10% of our mind, 5% of our mind. And he goes into many different chapters. This one is definitely a heavy read if you did not read Mind Power first, which I didn't. And I got lost. Um, some of it I didn't believe. But I'm actually going to go back 
and reread it. So the first time, it, so he breaks it down into 13 chapters. Mind Power, which is sort of a, a dumbed down version. The first um, chapter is about Mind Power. So I'd read this first and then Mind Power makes first the consciousness. Quantum Reality, the Quantum Warrior Beliefs. Athletes of the Mind, Weaving the Web, Subconscious, Listening, the Seven Disciplines, uh, Creating a Model of Reality in Conscious Evolution. So essentially what he's saying is our mind is so powerful and we go throughout. So in other words, we have beliefs. So we are born and if a baby is born into the Kennedy family, that's totally different if, if they're then born into the Botenston family. In other words, I'm a, I'm, my name is Charles Botenston, but a baby born into the Kennedy family is being programmed with totally different thoughts and mindsets and, and daily activities and habits and, and everything way more than how I was born. And it's, and it's not good or bad. It's obviously more beneficial to be born into a Kennedy family because there's we, we expect this. We expect this. You have a Kennedy name. And it's like Trump. You know, you look at his kids. They're successful because they have a successful mindset. So if success is part of it, part of your mindset, then you'll, you'll work to reach your maximum mindset capability. And for me is that I'm glad that I actually discovered this because a lot of people never discover it. And they feel that how they are is just results of how life should be. And it's not. You can reprogram your beliefs. You can reprogram your subconscious mind. You can, and they talk about athletes that do this, that visualize them winning a race. Uh, Olympians do this the most. Olympians, they say that 50% of the time for, I think on the US team, 50% of the time they're training physically training in a bobsled, physically training on, you know, running a race, physically training on their sport. And then 50% actually training in their mind is just seeing themselves running through the finish line first, r touching the wall and swimming first, which is, you know, it sounds like why would, you know why? Because if you are behind in the race or if you are behind in swimming and you see the guy or a girl next to you a little bit ahead, your expectations, because you've trained your mind, to, is to win. But if you have the expectation to just make it to the Olympics, then you're like, okay, I just made it to the Olympics, that's fine that that person is there. But the thing is, if you have the expectations to win the gold medal in your event at the Olympics, your expectation is, you know what, and you just find a deep inner subconscious strength and he talks about the athlete of the mind. And that is what he describes as the warrior. The warrior is someone that can train any part of their life that they want to change to benefit them. So say they're very wealthy, they have a great family, but they're out of shape. So in the book it says, okay, your beliefs are to be out of shape. And you're like, what? how is that possible? But as, I, as I've said in the other, or in Mind Power, is that a result of you being out of shape is because of your actions. You haven't gone to the gym. You've eaten unhealthy. And that's because of your thoughts. So you have the decision to eat a salad or a sandwich every day. So I eat salads. And it's because my mindset is to be healthy and fit and look good and feel good and to have energy, but the result is my body. The, the actions I take affect my body. The thoughts that I have affect my action, which then affect my result, which is my body. But the thoughts come from the subconscious mind. So if you're lost, I understand. So your subconscious mind goes, is just, it's just doing things. It doesn't say yes or no, it just, it's just there. It's just, it's just telling your conscious mind how to act, what fears are fearful, what, what success is to you, what, what being fit is to you. So your conscious mind then acts on that and it acts by eating a salad instead of a sandwich or pasta or pizza. Then it acts to wake you up and go to the gym instead of saying, I'm tired. Those are your actions. The actions then lead to results and you can do that with anything. Wealth, perfect example, 
is someone says, I have a net worth of $100,000. Okay, well, that's the result of the actions that you've taken. The actions that you've taken, you've either saved up enough money or not saved up enough money, or someone that has a net worth of 100000 could have a salary of a million dollars. They just spend it every single year. So that essentially is the quantum warrior. I highly recommend this, but you have to read Mind Power First. Mind Power First is way better. It's scary how much better it is. This one is good. It's it's more of the future, and, and obviously he says it. It's not more of a it's not a how-to. There's really no how-to into it. He just goes into how powerful our mind is and where where we are progressing. We are so far ahead of people that were 50 years ago. And then 50 years ago, they were way far ahead of people that were 50 years before them. I really feel that our capacity to our mind will never be fully realized. I feel like our brains will get bigger or our brains will get more, our brains will get utilized in a capacity that benefits us as we learn more. So now we can multitask. We now know a lot more information. We can do it a lot quicker because we have so many different things now. Back in the day, it was you are on a uh, an assembly line at, at Ford Motor Company and you just put together, you're just a cog in the wheel. You're just a cog in the wheel. Or you're maybe you're a manager of that, so you manage people. Now, you if you own a company like I own a company, I need to know marketing. I know how to be a leader. I know how to manage. I need to know how to sell. I need to know how to also stay in shape and have energy and make YouTube videos, things like that. So pick up all three books. I did a review on all three books today um, in my apartment right now. But Quantum Warrior should be your last one because that's the most in-depth. And you have to. I have to go back and reread this because when I read it, I, my mind wasn't around the whole uh, mind power. So uh, John Kehoe is also mind power. Quantum Warrior is also John Kehoe. And this is T. Harv Ecker. I also did a review on this, which you have to pick this up. This is a, it's just a, a it's clearly a best-selling book. It has to be a best-selling book. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't say it, but um, it's been around for a while. So anyway, subscribe to the videos. I'm actually reading currently uh, You Were Born Rich, which I will probably do a, a video on this because uh, I'm, you know, 10 pages from done. So anyway... Follow me on Instagram. That's my favorite social media network. Subscribe to my YouTube videos and I'll see you guys later. And if you have any comments, leave it below and I'll definitely review the book that you want me to review. So I'll talk to you guys soon.